She made such a fool of you through all those years. God only knows why you couldn't see. She works for me. Anyway, I apologize for the bad voice. Uh, <laughs> I was at my music playing, but when I hit the start button, the music stops. Uh, that was some Scott Ellison. She works for me from the Steeman album. Oh, man, it's a great tune. It's one of my favorites. Great disc, too. That shows you my age, right? I refer to it as an album and then a disc. Uh, anyway, <laughs> you're old, Tom. And <laughs> I am. But yeah, Scott Ellison, man. Uh, uh, a national blues artist out of Tulsa, Oklahoma. If he ever gets to your neighborhood, you ought to see him. Man, it's a classic. Anyway, but She Works For Me is one of my all-time favorite tunes. It's a great song. Hmm. So I picked up the this year's Schlafly Stout Bout Box. Uh, and this is their Dry Hop Stout. That was an interesting first taste there. 5.7%, uh, 40 IBUs. It is... Uh, it, 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 uh, of the four of the four stouts, it does have more IBUs than any of the others. The session is four and a half percent. I have a session stout four and a half percent. This one's at five seven. A latte stout at six, and a Mexican stout at six. So, but at at forty IBUs, this one has the most. So I was kind of curious. I was trying to find some other information on it, and I, they didn't. I couldn't find it on their website. I didn't know if they were trying, what, it says dry hop, it doesn't say tropical stout, which kind of made me wonder if that's what they were going for. So I was trying to find out what hops they used, but it didn't say, and it doesn't say on the bottle here. And going by the nose alone, if I had to take a shot in the dark, I'd have to guess that there's some centennial involved, but I'm, I'm just guessing. But it is interesting, right? So you've got those big roasty, you know, stout-like notes, uh, you know. And then you've got, you've got those hops that kind of clean her up and, and linger at the end. It almost has an India dark feel about it, you know. Because it does finish rather dry, it kind of surprised me. Even though it's a dry hop stout, it, it almost feels like it, you know, if, if it was, if I went to a brewery and this was served to me as an India dark, I, I'm okay. <laughs> Mm. But it's good. It kind of does fit in my wheelhouse because I love an India Dark, although this isn't that. Or some refer to them as a black IPA. I prefer to, re I prefer to call them India Darks, but uh, you know, IPA, India Pale Ale, or an IDA, India Dark Ale. I, I prefer that uh, moniker to a black IPA, which seems a little bit... Uh, it just doesn't make sense, man. How can you be pale and black at the same time? Brian Gumble, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> Michael Jackson? I don't know. I'm just spitballing here, Martha. Anyway, um, I digress. Shadow's waving her tail around over here. Uh, Shadow, pick a spot. <laughs> Anyway, I digress. Uh, let's see if I can uh, pin down some flavors here, some aromas. So you do feel those, those those stout notes on the nose, those roasted malt notes. But it is, it is a little muddled with, 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 with the hops going on, to be honest with you. The nose is a little... And that, that may be because I've got a little bit colder than it ought to be at the moment, to be honest with you. But the flavors I really like, man. I gotta be honest. Uh, uh, again, I don't want I don't want anybody to think that I'm calling this a black IPA because it's not. But when I, when I drink this, that is honestly what what I'm what I'm thinking. I mean, it just has that you know that that India dark feel about it. A lot of them don't use roasted malt, but I know some that do. It is kind of how it feels. It has that you know. Trop, some refer to them as a tropical stout. This one almost has an FES kind of feel to it. 
Uh, yeah, it's good. Or, you know, an, an American version of an FES, I should make that clear. Uh, whatever. Uh, you know, what's the name of this play with craft beer? Everything's so muddled at this point. Um, and I, I like this beer. Uh, I, I see it kind of being on the fence with a lot of folks. Kind of depends on what you're looking for. But but I like I like the hop additions along with the big roasted malts. For me, it works. For for some, it doesn't. I've talked to a lot of brewers that that, that don't like the style, won't brew the style because they feel it's it's too astringent. And I, I think that just depends on how it's done and what you're looking for. Um, the 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 ones that I personally uh, have fallen in love with over the years don't feel astringent to me. But again, I, I think that depends on your taste and how you interpret those things as well. I think some people are more sensitive to those 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 tastes. And I've had some that I've liked a lot more than others. I mean, uh, they've got one that just came out at Show Me Brewing here in town. Uh, that they, you know, they've been around for about three and a half years now. This has kind of been their annual fall IPA called the Sleeping Bear. It's a great big. Uh, this this incarnation is just a hair under ten percent. It probably runs close to a hundred IBUs because um, that's what it's ran in the past. Uh, and, and, and to me, it's amazing. But the one thing that they're clear about is they they like the addition of the roasted malts. A lot of them don't have that roasty character. And when I drank that uh, a couple of days ago, my thoughts were it, it, it really drinks like a great big American interpretation of an FES. It, it just does. But yeah, this kind of has that tropical stout feel about it, I suppose. Uh, it, it, it's good, uh, even though, I mean, I don't know what they're going for. It just says dry hop stout. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, for me, I just, uh, when I think of, 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 of the flavors that I'm getting, it, it just reminds me of an India dark. So anyway, but it does kind of feel like an American interpretation of an FES, but, but here we are with the slack. <laughs> here we are. This is where we're at, people. Here, here we are at this particular moment in time. Here, here we are with a dry hop stout. So there you go. I am Dr. Beer Whisper. Cut it. I am Dr. Beer Whisper. Beer evangelist, prolific beer drinker. Beer, beer was a man all around. Good guy. Cheers.